Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into a crucial topic that affects millions worldwide, deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. Stick around as we unravel the causes, signs, symptoms, and explore natural and medical treatments. First up, let's understand what DVT and PE are. Deep vein thrombosis occurs when a blood clot forms in a deep vein, commonly in the legs. If this clot breaks loose and travels to the lungs, it becomes a pulmonary embolism, which can be life-threatening. Now what causes these conditions? Several factors contribute, including prolonged immobility, surgery, genetic predisposition, hormonal birth control, smoking, and obesity. These factors can trigger the clotting cascade, leading to DVT or PE. Recognizing the signs and symptoms is crucial. Look out for leg swelling, pain, warmth, and redness in DVT. In the case of PE, symptoms may include chest pain, shortness of breath, rapid heartbeat, and coughing up blood. If you experience any of these, seek medical help immediately. But can we complement medical treatment with natural remedies? Absolutely. Let's explore some effective options. Stay active. Regular exercise promotes blood circulation, reducing the risk of clots. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week, such as walking, swimming, or cycling. Maintain a healthy diet. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as fish, salmon, mackerel, sardines, and flax seeds, have anti-inflammatory properties and can help prevent blood clot formation. Compression therapy. Wearing compression stockings helps prevent blood from pooling in the legs by applying gentle pressure to the veins, promoting better circulation and reducing the risk of clot formation. Herbal supplements. Certain herbs like ginger and turmeric possess natural blood thinning properties and can be consumed as supplements or incorporated into your diet to help prevent clot formation. However, always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any herbal supplements especially if you are on medication. Hydration. Drinking plenty of water keeps the blood flowing smoothly and helps prevent dehydration, which can increase the risk of blood clot formation. Aim to drink at least eight glasses of water a day and limit alcohol and caffeine intake as they can contribute to dehydration. Garlic. Incorporating garlic into your diet can help reduce blood clot formation due to its natural anticoagulant properties. Garlic can be added to dishes or taken as a supplement, but consult with your doctor if you are taking blood-thinning medications, as garlic may interact with them. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper contains a compound called capsaicin. Capsaicin has various health benefits and is used for pain relief and as a dietary supplement for its potential antioxidant and anti-inflammatory blood-thinning properties and could potentially help prevent blood clots. However, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional for appropriate treatment options. Ginkgo biloba. This herb is known for its ability to improve blood circulation and prevent blood clot formation. Ginkgo biloba supplements can be taken under the guidance of a healthcare professional to reduce the risk of clotting. Vitamin E. Foods rich in vitamin E, such as nuts, almonds, hazelnuts, and seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, can help thin the blood and prevent clot formation. Take the vitamin E part and food rich in vitamin E forward to where you talked about omega-3 and different kinds of fish. Then afterward, talk about water, where you talked about drinking eight glasses a day and reduce alcohol intake and caffeine because it causes dehydration. Incorporate these foods into your diet as part of a balanced and healthy eating plan. While natural remedies are beneficial, sometimes medical intervention is necessary. Let's explore some conventional treatments. Anticoagulant medications. Some common medications used to prevent or treat blood clots include 1. Anticoagulants, blood thinners, warfarin, coumadin, heparin, low molecular weight heparin, LMWH, such as enoxaparin, lovenox, and daltaparin, fragmin, direct oral anticoagulants, DOACs, such as rivaroxaban, xarelto, apixaban eliquis, dabigatrin, pradaxa, and edoxaban savisa. 2. Antiplatelet agents. Aspirin. Clopidogrel plavix. Ticagrelor relinta. Prasugrel effient. 
These medications are prescribed based on the type and severity of the clotting disorder and individual patient factors. Always consult with a healthcare professional for proper diagnosis and treatment. Thrombolytic therapy. In severe cases, clot-busting drugs may be administered to dissolve clots quickly, especially in cases of massive pulmonary embolism or extensive deep vein, thrombosis and other surgical interventions like inferior vena, cava filter, and catheter. Directed thrombolysis. Remember, always consult with your healthcare provider before trying any new treatment, whether natural or medical. They can provide personalized recommendations based on your health condition and help you choose the most appropriate treatment plan. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this information valuable. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more health tips. Take care and stay healthy.